here's a tip of the day. Get yourself a nice uh, pasta machine because it's really handy for rolling out uh, even flat pieces of clay which will be really handy when I make the uh, collar of the shirt for the Indian that I'm working on right now. Really nice. It makes it nice and even. I put it on the thickest uh, thing. This particular one cost me about $168 US. And uh, if I want to make it thicker, all I gotta do is is uh, basically just put it together. And uh, I've got uh, a piece of clay flat, about a good oh, eight quarter of an inch thick, which is really nice because uh, it gives you a lot of opportunity. You can do several and then just join them up. But uh, anyway, I'll use this later. But I wanted to show you this is the tip of the day as I start out this day. All right, I got it mounted up, uh, foamed up, and everything else. And I'm trying to decide exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I had a scarf around his neck because a lot of Indians in the plains wore scarves, uh, I, I would assume, to protect themselves from dust storms like uh, the cowboys would uh, use to protect themselves from the same thing. Um, I'll do a, I think I'm going to do a skin shirt, which would change the, uh, the uh, scarf. I would take the scarf off on that. But I'm also thinking of a blanket over his shoulder, and I'm just uh, trying this with a towel that I have just to see what it would look like, because it's better than going ahead and starting. But uh, putting a blanket over his shoulder like that, this would uh, have this out here like that, which would make a nice design. Mm -hmm. um, and then I might have a, his hand coming up and holding on to the blanket, uh, sort of like that. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm just sort of playing with ideas to fill this guy out a little bit. I'm thinking of uh, possibly making the feathers uh, sort of flowing with a, a little bit of a breeze, maybe having them more over on this side or even on this side. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to be playing with ideas on what I'm going to do. Uh, don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. I've got to make it appealing. It's got to tell a story. It's got to make you feel uh, some kind of emotion. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take off the fluff that I put onto the uh, feathers. This will make it a lot easier for me to uh, move the feathers if I decide to. And the way I put the fluff on was just uh, using clay that was almost melted and uh, daubing it onto the uh, headdress. I'll put that clay over there. Now what these these are here coming out from between the uh, feathers and uh, on the back of his headdress are uh, ermine tails. Lots of ermine tails. Ermine is a uh, animal, that, a little weasel-like animal or rodent that runs around the rocks out here in Montana. I used to live up on the mountainside and I'd see them darting around the rocks below my uh, porch. Beautiful animals. Uh, long, slender. Anyway, I'm going to take that away for now. Until I decide what to do. All right, let's... Yeah, we're getting the snow and lots of it but it's wet because it's only about 34 degrees it's not quite freezing but uh yep first uh real well we actually had a snow about a, two weeks ago or three weeks ago but this is the first time it's actually laid on the ground all right back to my studio all right to make the fluffs on the uh 
and I mean the eagle fluffs, the uh, wispy little um, down feathers that uh, will be on the uh, bottom part of the feathers on the headdress. I put the uh, light real low to the uh, clay. That heats up the clay a little bit more than usual. Uh, usually I keep the light up about that high and uh, it keeps the clay nice and soft for me to work with. But when I put it down that low, it only takes a few minutes for it to uh, start to soften the clay up to so much that uh, I can actually um, take the melted clay on a... Uh, let me see if I can find my tool that I do that with. This one here. Um, let's get the light over on it. I take this tool, which is a, actually a spoon that I ground down and then put into a wooden dowel for the handle. It's, it's a great little tool for sculpting, but uh, I just scoop up the clay and then dab it onto the, uh, the feathers. You'll see in a few minutes. All right, I've taken off the existing neckerchief and uh, changing the whole structure of the uh, upper part of this body because I want to uh, prepare it for any major changes that I want to make to it. I've got the feathers situated. I've got a nice movement here on this side. Um, I've got clay softening right now so I can solidify these in position by putting the fluff onto the uh, bottom of the feathers. That will seal these feathers and keep them from moving. And all I'm doing now is defining his shoulders and his chest a little bit more so I can build up onto it. Okay, I'm taking the uh, clay that I had made earlier with using my pasta machine, which you saw at the beginning of this video. And I'm just preparing it to use it do on this clay. I'm going to establish the line for the shirt using the excess that I just cut off of the uh, that piece of clay and uh, see the shirt would have if it's a skin shirt it'd be a poncho style shirt with a collar uh, or a hole where the head would go through it and that's what I'm doing here a lot of this is uh, going to be covered up uh, with detail from the uh, headdress. And it would be a be beaded flap that would be right here on the uh, front of the shirt and it would be attached right there and there. It would actually ride up on the neck a little bit. Alright, that's started. Now, since I've got all this extra flat clay, I just do that. Now, I'll come back to that later, but right now I've got my clay softened up enough to uh, do the fluffs. And since the wind is blowing on this side, the fluffs will be a little flatter to the, the feathers because it's reacting to the wind. And so, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I've got this, the uh, fluff stuff. <laughs> the wet clay uh, cupped into the uh, spoon that I ground down and you can see I just dab it on there just like that and uh, when that hardens it uh, will seal the feathers together Now I'm going to start pushing it into the feather a little bit more so it won't be quite as fluffy here as it is over here.
All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, fluss all done around the uh, headdress there and on this side as well, down through here. I, uh, today, I'm going to call it quits for today, and uh, tomorrow I'll start working on the detail here, but I think I'm going to do some uh, correcting of the face a little bit. Uh, it's, it's a nice face and everything, but it doesn't quite sing to me yet, and uh, I need to work on that a little bit. So that'll be tomorrow.